So you're considering making a move to Tampa Bay and you're wondering just why people are so happy to live here. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly that. And if you hadn't guessed it already, this behind me here is a huge part of the reason why. And when it comes to making the Gulf Coast dream a reality, this is what brings a majority of us. And when I say us, myself included, because it's gonna be almost five years. Our celebration is December 8th. Um, five years since we made that decision to pack up our family, move 1,200 miles away from Metro Detroit and come to Florida. And it has been such a blessing. Now, is it all sunshine, lollipops and rainbows? The answer to that is no. We've done lots of pros and cons and we're gonna get into just a touch of the stuff that isn't magnificent either, y'all, because um, there's a great proverb that said, wherever you go, there you are. And uh, that is true. So if you are miserable where you're at, most likely you're probably not going to be enjoying life in paradise either. However, if you know you just cannot wait to soak up the incredible sunshine, to take advantage of the beautiful salty air and the sand underneath your toes, then you are in the right space. And we're going to get into that today. Now, if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group. And I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the greater Tampa Bay area. And we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. So if that's in you, make sure you stick around because we're going to answer all your questions about why people are so happy to live here on the Gulf Coast. And I'm going to share a little bit of my story with you guys just right out of the rip here. You know, it's been a long journey to get our family here. And the point of this is not to make it about me, but just to share our experience on what it's like to relocate from another area. Maybe you're considering making the move from the Northeast. I get a lot of clients that reach out from the Boston, New York, New Jersey, those areas. They love coming down to the Gulf Coast. We also get a ton of people from the Midwest and Canada. I'm from Detroit, as I said before. Um, this is normal practice to us. You know, you spend a lot of your youth coming down to the Gulf Coast of Florida with family, or maybe you have family that already has property down here, and you wanna make this dream a reality, and I can understand that. And over the last three to four years, we've had a lot of new residents move from the West Coast. You know, people moving from California, Seattle, the Northeast, Portland, um, a lot of people from San Diego as well. It's hard not to be excited to love a place this beautiful. And it doesn't come without its pitfalls falls y'all we've discussed that a lot you know the, our beach is going through a reclamation process right now i'm gonna turn you guys around here so maybe you can see it behind me our sand dunes have been pretty well eroded from hurricane idalia that came through tampa bay was spared in a lot of great ways we did have some challenges st pete you know got flooded in some areas downtown tampa got flooded in some areas but for the most part we were pretty well protected you know and didn't have to deal with the major outcomes that could have happened and listen y'all i've been here for five years there's been three threats two of them pretty major um, and we've been fortunate enough to not have to deal with hardly any of the aftermath there but there is things that come about right like again the reclamation here what that means is they're in the process of putting sand back in these natural barriers to keep us protected from the ocean because listen y'all this bad boy whenever it wants to take back what belongs to it <laughs> it has the option to do that so those sand barriers absolutely protect all of these properties behind it and um, the communities that live behind there as well so that's one of the things that is a challenge but this the trade that we give is we get 200, over 230 days of sunshine here in the greater Tampa Bay area. St. Petersburg is known as Sunshine City, for goodness sake. And our daily average temperature is just shy of 82 degrees. During the summer, that can get pretty intense. August, it's right around 90. Our four hottest months are typically, well, they run four and a half months from mid-May till October-ish. Um, it's pretty warm, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely gets intense. A lot of people tend to go up to uh, the Carolinas or the Georgia mountains to get away from some of that intense heat. In August, our average temperatures are right around 90 degrees. That can be super intense for some people. They don't like that, I can understand. But for the remainder of the year, I mean, y'all, today is November 9th. It is 83 degrees. The water temperature is absolutely incredible. You can still get in this Gulf of Mexico here and swim. I'm gonna turn you around, it's gonna be pretty blown out. But if you look up there, you can see plenty of people in the water. And the biggest thing to keep in perspective is that if this is the lifestyle that you are attracted to, you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for. If you're a boater, if you're an angler, if you're a, um, into kayaking, if you like paddleboarding, if you love being outdoors, this lifestyle is for you. 
because you get to be outside a majority of the year. Again, August, that's not necessarily the greatest month to go hang outside. Oh, wow, August. A lot of people do their activity in the morning, get it over with, and go about their day. But there are crazies like myself who still run. I run in the middle of August during <laughs> the midday to try to you know, slim down. As you can see, I'm a little, little fluffy from time to time. But I actually enjoy that hard work. You know what I mean? And it's not for everybody, I completely understand. But if you're tired of the cold, if you're tired of the dreary, if you don't wanna be um, part of that anymore, if you're you know, five months of gray weather like we were, and you know, you're begging for summer to come around. Summer. We can't wait any longer. And then it was 18 weeks long and then it rained on the weekends. I mean, it was just like, I owned a boat and I was like, I used to look at that and go, what am I doing? Right, I would only get that thing on the water probably eight to 10 times a year because I was living for the weekends and it would rain at least one weekend out of every month. And we're in the Great Lakes Stakes. I love it. It is beautiful up in Michigan too, no doubt about it. But this y'all, it doesn't even compare. They're not even on the same ballpark. So obviously lifestyle is a huge component of it. The weather is another component of it as well. And a big thing is the people. And I mean, if, if I interview these people on this beach here, they're gonna say the same thing. We love it here, it's beautiful. We either come down X amount of times a year, we own a home here, or we live here at permanent residence. We came from X, Y, and Z. There are so few people who are actually um, local. My dentist, we were having this conversation the other day, he has been born and raised in Clearwater. And he's just, we call him the unicorn because nine out of 10 people that we meet aren't from here. And that makes this a really diverse area. It makes it culturally welcoming. I love that component of living here. Our family has been accepted because all the other families that we've, we've come to know have gone through the same exact thing that we're going through. And they're very open and inviting. We homeschool our kids. The communities have actually been incredible. The, the families in our neighborhood are all, you know, they came for the same reasons and they love living here for the same reasons. Yes, we have our challenges, but those are handily outweighed by the benefits that we receive living here. Um, our state doesn't have any uh, state income tax, which is a huge benefit. Taxes here in general are lower. The cost of living here, while it has gone up dramatically in the f past four years, we are still on average um, relatively close in terms of real estate values. Um, the Tampa Bay has still been a little bit strong here coming in the last few months. Uh, I think we're up 6% year over year um, in the month of October, which is incredible. You think about that, when interest rates are still 8%, people are still moving here. Over a thousand people a day move to Florida. Uh, and we've just really come to love that. Our real estate values have held up really well, but we're still very close to the national average. Now, can you have a home or a condo like this for anywhere near the national average? The answer is no, I'm never gonna put that, <laughs> say you can do that. You know, these homes here are gonna be, you know, million plus all day. Condos, you can still find some, some relatively good values. The steals don't really exist anymore. Florida, you know, has always been known for years of having a very low cost of living, but that has escalated just like everyone else's has with inflation. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna know more about real estate specifically, don't hesitate to reach out to me and my team. I'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you and uh, help you guys get dialed into a property. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go check out a property for a um, investor client who's looking, it's right on John's Pass, it's unbelievable. One of the very few places you have direct access with a boat to the Gulf of Mexico. So she saw the property, we're gonna jump on that. Hopefully, that's uh, we're able to make her dream a reality, but it's just such a cool spot, man. You look around here, here comes either the, uh, the Marines or the Coast Guard right now, which is really cool. Hopefully you guys can see that behind us. Chopper up above, love that. They'll do drills. We've got boaters out behind us, people enjoying what's going on here in the Gulf Coast. It's just so many things to love about living in this area here. So I know I'm kind of, hopefully the, the rambling makes sense to you guys because this is why, right? To come down here and I'm breaking a sweat now, which is hilarious, right? No, <laughs> November 8th or 9th is today. Um, and I'm breaking a sweat just talking to you guys. But like, that is the type of lifestyle that we longed for. We were so tired of that cold and dreary and gray. We just were looking to make a change. And man, we are so happy with the decision we made, even with those tremendous challenges you have with, with the weather and the storms. And insurance has been a, a pain in the butt for some of our clients, but I live less than two miles away from this body of water and my insurance cost me $2,500 a year. I know some of you are going, oh my God, that's outrageous. But for Florida, that is cheap, y'all. 
We have a four bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square foot pool home. And that house only cost me $2,500 a year. So more than a fair trade. That same exact property, if I was uh, to live in Michigan, my taxes would have been twice as much for the same purchase price. So just a heads up on that. So to me, that is a absolute no brainer, right? I would have paid $1,800 for homeowner's insurance, but I would have paid over $12,000 a year in taxes. So to me, this is a no brainer. You know, the income tax thing, especially if you're a business owner, that makes a tremendous amount of sense for you, or it could at least. Um, that's why we attract so many high income earners. The state of Florida has attracted more people earning over $200,000 a year than anywhere else in the country. Our real estate values actually just hit the, um, the second highest in the country, just behind California. We beat out New York for the highest real estate values. And I was just telling you how affordable we were, right? Which is interesting because again, if you wanna pay 13 or 15 or 25 million for a property here, you can absolutely do it. But if you also wanna find a $200,000 condo, that is still actually an option, which is fascinating. So hope all of this is helping you guys. You know, if you have questions about making a move to the area, if you're dreaming about making this Gulf Coast um, dream here a reality, if you're looking to pick up an investment property, or if you're just looking for a place to take your family and spend the winters because Y'all, there's no better place to do it. Do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team here at the True Living Group. I'm gonna put all of my contact information in the description down below. There's even a link to my calendar where you can schedule a time that is best for you. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.